Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Ship Shape. This week we're going to be covering the caterpillar. Specifically, we're going to be talking about some of the challenges that having an asymmetrical ship like this poses to the development team and also some of the modules that we're currently working on. Right now we're slated to kick off modeling of the ship early next year and so we'll show you what we have right now, which is of course very work in progress still. The Caterpillar is an infamously asymmetrical ship. While this is pretty cool for the ship itself, it can pose a lot of challenges to the development team if not approached in the correct way. We've had a lot of conversations, even recent ones, about the best way to set this up on our side. Now we found a creative way to approach this by having the cab of the ship, the command module, be symmetrical to itself and the hull symmetrical to itself, even though the cab is up on one side. This gives the caterpillar its signature asymmetry, but it makes things a lot easier for us when we're balancing out these two parts of the ship. It makes it a lot easier for us to place thrusters. It's going to make flight balance feel a lot better for players. So in the end, it makes it not only a lot easier for us to implement in the game, but it's going to feel a lot better for you guys. So one of the cool things about the Caterpillar is that the command module can actually detach from the hull of the ship. It's essentially like two ships in one. And so we are building them as essentially two different ships. This is going to help us when it's attached because, as I mentioned before, it helps us balance-wise because all of the balance controls will, of course, be coming from the command module when it's attached. Since this is going to be such an important part of the ship as a whole, we're spending a lot of time right now working on polishing the cab. Again, making it asymmetrical so it feels better for you guys, but also the layout and how the balance is going to work. One of our designers, Randy Vasquez, is currently working on the ship. You might remember some of his work before from when he talked about the Starliner and helped me do a ship shape episode on that. In talking to him, he told me what some of the biggest challenges were for him at this early stage in the process. And one of them is making sure that all of the people and components that need to can fit on the cab of the ship. Again, since it detaches, we need to make sure that a lot of the pieces that modify a ship can attach not just anywhere, but to the command module, so that when it detaches, they're still helping you out. On the tech side, we're also looking at some creative ways to approach the fact that the cab is going to have different functionality when it's attached and when it's not. For example, when it's attached to the hull of the ship, it's going to be able to interact with every piece of it. But of course, when it's detached and when it's flying off somewhere else, it's not going to be able to do all of those things. Last but definitely not least, we have some work in progress images of some of the modules we're working on for the Caterpillar. You'll see the medical module. This has some beds and some medical equipment. You'll see the personnel module, which has a living area with tables. You'll also see the workshop module, which has chop shop machinery. The final module we've got here to show you guys is a cargo module. It's a little further along, you can see, in concept art wise. You can also see in this one how modules are going to attach into the rest of the ship. Finally, we have a screenshot of what Randy's screen looks like when he's working on all of this. As you can see, with all of the different modules we're working on, it can get pretty messy. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you for joining me this week on Ship Shape. Back to you, Ben and Sandy.